Yo, what's up, gang? It's your boy, King Cooper. 01, and I'm back again with episode 3 of Shooting the Shit. So, what's up, y'all? What y'all been on? I ain't really been on shit. I'm still pretty much staying, like, in the house. Only going out when I really need to. Or whatever, you know what I mean? Because, you know, shit's still real out here, unfortunately. And, um, yeah, man. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk talk it up with y'all. Uh, I did just get through shooting a video. So, hopefully, I don't know which one is going to upload first. More than likely, the one I shot. Um, showing this bad boy, y'all. I literally just showed it off. I really didn't do too much with it. But, um, yeah, man, I just been cooling. I'm trying to get my waves back, brushing my hair. No, let me stop playing. But um, I've been buying a lot of shit, though. Like, a lot of shit. Like, I don't know what what, what is going on with me or what's been happening. But um, after next week, because cause Lemony Run is coming out with some stuff that I really want to try to go for. And I'm trying to get all collector's editions for that or whatever. But, um, yeah. After next week, I'm going to get back on my Kakazoo shit, you know, save your money. Because I got other plans that I want to do, and I definitely want to um, hit those goals. And I can't hit those goals by just burning through money unnecessarily. I'm still going to, you know, get shit that I want, but I've been doing too much. I've been doing the most. But um, as you can see, the PAL has gotten, uh, you know, a little bigger. Cause like I said, I've been buying stuff. I have been, um, I finally finished Cage Clothes. Well, you know, it's like my, what, maybe fifth time in my life going through the first five seasons. I think, yeah, I think it's only five seasons of the dubbed episodes of Case Clothes, AKA Detective Conan. And now I'm starting on the movie, so I think it's like six or seven dubbed anime movies. I'm on uh, movie two. I normally watch them at night or whatever, or, you know, randomly in the afternoon, some shit like that. But I don't know. I'm just going through it again. And um, I started a new anime earlier today called uh, Erased. And um, so far, so good. Like, I'm really liking it. It's on Netflix. So, you know, check it out. If you want, you know what I'm saying? Or if you have already checked it out, let me know what you thought of it. But I'm, I'm like, the, I like the anime style. I like the story. You know what I'm saying? It's decent so far. But, um, yeah, man, I just wanted to shoot the shit. Uh, the Mario celebrating his 35th anniversary. I tried to get a few items from the you know what they talked about during the direct uh, a lot of people seem to be you know psyched up about it or whatever the case may be but um yeah man i mean i ain't gonna lie i'm happy that is you know that the um 3d r stars thing is happening i kind of wish they did more with the 64 mario game like okay update the graphics a little bit more than what they did that would be number one number two make the um collecting the stars mechanic similar to how it is in mario odyssey where you just you can just go and just collect everything in one run if you wanted to like i don't want to have to constantly keep jumping in uh, the pictures that would have been dope and um what really would have put the icing on the cake if they would have put the thousand year door on that collector's edition but I mean, not collection edition, but that collection, I should say. And then another thing Nintendo is doing that's unusual is that uh, they talking about only six months that that game and I think uh, something else. But six months is going, you know, it's a limited release, which is, you know, I don't know what that's about. What, what the hell are they trying to pull? But uh, I got two pre-orders from um, Best Buy for the 3D All-Stars version and the Cat Mario game. I've never played that game. 
I tried to find that game when I had my Wii U, but it was hard to get. Like, I guess, you know, it was a good ass game, but I'm definitely looking forward to finally getting into that. Like, I'm going to actually cut my Switch on. I'm not just pump faking. I'm going to cut my shit on and actually play. And um, I recently got another dock, a third party dock or whatever. And I'm going to be you know, taking my Switch out on the go to my, mainly to my auntie house or, you know, when I was a shorty, me and my cousin and stuff, we used to like bring the video game like outside and shit, like in the yard on the back porch. So, yeah, I'm thinking about doing that again, you know, since, you know, technically this COVID stuff is not really over. People are still getting it and, you know, all that other shit. So, I think, you know, having an outside game session will be, you know, decent. I also want to get a projector. I'm looking to get a projector because I want to have anime nights and movie nights and all that stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? I want to, I want to kick it, bro. I want to link up with my family, my friends, even though my family, you know, they're not really. They they are gaming. My family is a gaming family, but they not really heavy into it like that. But, um, I mean, shit, if I organize something, you know, I'm pretty sure they'll pull up. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Another thing I want to talk about was, um, man, I'll be glad when I stop fucking up in my videos, like, fumbling over my words and all that shit. That shit be really irritating me, bro. I'm thinking about maybe being a script YouTuber, like, when you actually write a script and shit out. But then you're going to be seeing me, like, reading off the paper and shit, like, I don't know. Hopefully, I'll figure it out one day, you know what I'm saying? But I'm enjoying this YouTube stuff, you know what I'm saying? I like seeing my channel grow. I like seeing, you know, my regulars in the comments. Shout out to y'all. You guys are dope. Um, I don't know, man. I don't really promote my stuff because I'm not really, like, super proud of my stuff. Because, you know, it's not, like, polished or edited and nothing like that. I'm just, like, I'm shooting directly off my phone or whatever. But, um... Yeah, man. I'm still looking for my player two in life. Um, yeah, definitely want to get that shit checked off the box list. Box list. You know what I'm saying? Fucking up my words. Like, come on, bro. Like, what is this? Learn to talk, King Cooper. Learn to talk. But um, yeah, I talked about what anime I've been watching. I talked about Nintendo a little bit. I talked about you know, regular shit, I don't know, I had, see, in my head, this talking shit, or shooting shit video stuff, would be much more, I don't know, smoother, I don't know, man, oh, yeah, I know what, I know what I forgot to bring up, I've been, I've been thinking about low-key, like, low-key, maybe even under a different channel, trying to do ASMR videos, I'm really into ASMR, like heavy like heavy like I, I watch that shit almost every night and um it's i find it like entertaining it's not i mean yes it's very relaxing and shit i do i am one of those people that actually get the like the tingly sensation and all that shit some people don't get that i really don't you know i don't know enough to explain why some people get it and why some people don't but um yeah, I've been thinking about maybe doing ASMR videos because it'd be certain shit that I'd be looking up that I cannot find in the ASMR community. And the ASMR community started off like small and shit. And it was like real niche. But now it's like fucking beer commercials. You know, it's like YouTube is low key going up. Like, um, like the MREs, like, you know, people trying out or eating the army food and shit. It's a fucking show on the History Channel right now they're showing dudes eating mres and trying like old ass food and like giving their opinion on it and giving like little back history of of the food items the the unboxing community it's an i think a, a, again on the history channel it's a whole show where these people or couples i guess they buy pallets and mystery boxes get the stuff unbox it and then try to flip it to make a part a profit like 
And then, like I said, I've, I've seen LeBron even got a freaking ASMR commercial where he just chilling out for 30 seconds. I think he listening to Rain and shit. Like, shout out to the Rain lovers. I'm, I'm one of those. I love the Rain. I love water. But I don't know how to swim. Ironic. This video is too long. I don't want to be super long. I want to keep my videos under the 10 minute mark. You feel me? But yeah, I'm seriously thinking about trying out an ASMR video. I might do it under my one of my old channels from like three, four phones ago. This is my main channel. I'm not saying that I have a creep channel or some shit like that, but you know, when you switch your phones and you have way to get the password and all that shit. So this is like my main, my main Google account or whatever the case may be. And I, I had another channel, so I might try to ASMR shit on that channel. But what if it blow up though? Cause those ASMR people be low key catching fire out of nowhere. Like, it'd be like small channels getting thousands and thousands of views because I don't know, somebody found their little niche, but yeah, I'm about that ASMR life for sure. But, um, yeah, I think I done, I done talked enough. Um, if you guys have got any subjects, anything, you know, that I can add to this or, you know, you might want to hear me talk about, because I'll be straight rambling. You know what I mean? But, um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Remember to treat people the way you want to be treated. Um, stay safe and peace. I'm going to awkwardly stop the phone without looking like an idiot.